Hey, thanks for tuning in for Weekly Word. We appreciate so much you watching. Hope you'll share it with a friend. Uh, and uh, who knows what God might do uh, through that in uh, blessing someone else's life. Uh, today, I wanna talk to you about how God gives us guidance and God gives us direction in our lives. Uh, back in another time in my life when I was younger, I worked at a hardware store. And one of my responsibilities was to put things together. So I would take uh, wheelbarrows and uh, lawnmowers and various tools and instruments that we would sell in the store, and I would have to assemble the display model. And if we sold the display model, I'd have to replace it, put it together. Well, I was pretty young, and I would normally just look at the picture on the box and get all the parts, and then I'd start to work. And I learned very quickly that the reason why they enclose that list of instructions uh, is to help you. It's important, and if you don't follow them, you're liable to make a mistake. You see, God has given us instructions, guidance, not just on how to put our life together, but how to live the life that he wants us to live. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, uh, Paul gives us a list of things about knowing the instructions. And he begins by telling them, telling the people of Corinth, a, a little history lesson. He wants them to learn the history of what God has done in the life of the children of Israel. And he tells them in that, that he says, God has given us a spiritual guidance. Uh, he guided Moses and he guided the children of Israel uh, into the promised land. God has given spiritual deliverance. He delivered us from the hands of the Egyptians. He gave us the land. We conquered great cities, great walled cities. He's telling them some history. He's saying God provided for us leadership. God provided for us supernatural food and drink. He provided manna. He brought water from a rock. What Paul is doing is he's telling these people there is a history, a track record, if you will, of God's incredible work with his people. What Paul is trying to communicate to him is this. God can be trusted. God has shown himself over and over again that he can be trusted. And I bet in your life, God has shown you that in your life as well. That the instructions he's gonna give, the direction he's gonna give, is going to be the best direction of your life and the best direction of my life. And what he tells them to do is instead of following our own instructions, instead of following the instructions of the world, instead follow the instructions of God. And we do that when we don't turn and worship other things. He used the word idols there. Uh, idols, uh, we often think, are just some stone structure or some wooden structure that somebody worships. But idols are anything in my life, anything in your life, that draw our affection, that draw our attention away from God. In other words, it's when we turn maybe to our money, turn to our career, turn to our success, when we focus on that instead of making God the focus of our life. It's why he says in verse 31, whatever you do, whether you eat or drink or whatever it is, do it all to the glory of God. He's saying that God needs to be the focus of our lives in every way and in everything. And what he says along the journey is, he says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, don't grumble about everything. Don't complain about everything. Instead, have a joy in your heart, trusting God and depending on God. God has given us an instruction manual in his word. God has given us not just a manual, God has also given us his presence through the Holy Spirit that is in us, that speaks into our lives. In other words, that guides us along the steps. If you will, the Spirit of God says, yes, take that bolt and put it through that hole and then attach it to this. This is the way you put it together. This is the way you put your life together. Are you frustrated, tired of the direction of your life? Let me ask you a question. Have you been listening to the and reading the instruction manual? Have you been listening to the guide, the Spirit of God, that wants to direct your life? It's one thing to make a mistake in putting together a lawnmower putting together a wheelbarrow, putting together a piece of furniture. It's a whole nother thing when we make a mistake putting together the pieces of our lives. 
and God is the one that can be trusted to help us. May God bless you, and we'll see you next week.